Hi guys, welcome back. Scaling here, we're off for more of Final Fantasy The Anniversary Edition. In the last episode, we have reached the final floor of the Lifespring Grotto. I thought it was 25 or 30 floors, it, apparently it's only 20. But we've got two bosses to choose from, which means I've got to go through this whole dungeon again once I beat one of the bosses. But that's if we can even beat one of the bosses. These bosses are the two of the hardest bosses in the game. There is another boss that can be harder if you do something, but that's in the Labyrinth of Time, and that's not part of the Dawn of Souls pack, shall we say. Because remember, the GBA version first introduced uh, the current version of Final Fantasy that we're aware of with the later renditions that use the MP system that we've been using in this version of the game. And the GBA version, being the Dawn of Souls game, that includes Final Fantasy II, had the bonus dungeons that we're playing right now. However, the Anniversary Edition being the PSP version and all editions afterwards being on iOS devices and the 3 ds in Japan only, you have the Labyrinth of Time in the Chaos Shrine as well, which I've never done before, but that will obviously be for the next episode, but <laughs> let's see if we can get there. I need to try and beat this thing, and I don't know how long it's going to take, I don't even know which one this one is, and this is going to be fun times for me. But I'm choosing this one first because there's an extra goodie to pick up, and that just makes more sense to me. But that may also be because it's also the hardest one of the entire game. I guess let's find out. This is Ultima Weapon. I am which that follows Omega. I think I chose the- oh no, Shinru! Wait, what? Okay, the other one's Ultima Weapon. Is it Omega Weapon or Omega Weapon? It might- oh, the other one might be Omega Weapon, because this one said I'm the one who follows Omega, so Omega may still be the hard, harder one. I might be thinking Omega Weapon. Okay, this guy is not pleasant to look at. If we know anything about, like, secret boss dragons, we know that they can pretty much one-shot you out and get a second four. So, I am definitely buffering up Zest right now. There's no question about that. We need a slap on a protector right immediately. We also need to slap on... There's that white robe. There it is. To get Invisera. And he already... He already starts with a flare! Come on, please don't do this. And Sorba's already dead. And again, Daewoo survives. I mean, I guess in this case it makes sense because he has magic resistance, but... Again, Silver is the one who bloody flipping dies. And I do not care for that, to be honest. So... I'm just going to use uh, Zest's turn here to use the Defender. I'm going to use your turn to full life on Silver. And yeah, th at this point we're going to probably die because I need to like emergency triage right now and it's not possible so this is already a bad start if he didn't open up with flare i would have had a chance but i'm pretty much already dead yeah look at that zest is now dead and that's another thing i hate about these dungeons you, you know, it's like it takes you so long to get through them and then and like all the enemies you can pretty much one shot or take one to two turns of everyone attacking and knock them out and then, with hardly any damage, and then all of a sudden, boss at the very end, kills you in a couple of turns, and you can't do anything about it. I buffed on the first turn, before a couple of my buffs could go off, he uses flare and immediately knocks out one person. Before I can heal the rest, he attacks again. I do not know what to do, to be honest. This is already very bad. Cast haste on yourself. I'm gonna revive Zest to see what happens. I need to get the uh, white road back off again. Oh no, he's done flare again. We're dead. Look at that. I can't. What can I do? We're actually gonna get a game over here, guys. I'm surprised that we all actually lived at that time. It's a problem that I don't actually have. Like, oh, do I want to use a Mega Elixir already? I 
I don't, I honestly do not know what to do. First turn and we're already screwed. Hate this. Freaking hit him with a holy. It's like, we're gonna go down fighting. I don't know. Freaking saber it up again, I guess. Give you haste. Right, you need to get that off immediately. I do not care, but you're also slapping up that bloody room staff. Good. Thank you for attacking Zest. That is exactly what I wanted, so we can actually eat a turn and do something. Everyone is, like, completely on the wonk at the moment. We need to get ourselves back up, and now we have a few buffs on our side. Not a lot, but we have something. Invis on yourself. I'm gonna cast haste on Flo as well, because she could use the speed. I'm slapping another. Oh, I need the protector though. I've got seven of them, I'm using a Mega Elixir, I don't care, but he's going to use another bloody flare. Please don't kill anybody so that this is wasted. Come on, Sober again! It's a waste of a bloody Mega Elixir now. Well, I guess it's not really, because everyone else gets health back, so I just use a freaking... Right, let's actually hit this guy, we're not doing anything at this point. Full life on that dude. Using the Judgment Star for a free cast of Flare. Why do you hit Zest for that much damage? I need to get some Protects off. So I just spam Protect with Zest and keep stacking it on himself. Until everyone else can get defense. I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna do that. This is why we gave him the magic for situations such as this. It. I'm gonna use it. <laughs> I'm gonna use a friggin' strength tonic. <laughs> nah. I, I just had a better idea. If I cast temper on you, that will actually be a lot better. I've got to use another protector. That's literally all I can do. And I need to heal everybody. I think I'm gonna just keep using Dave Wu with the Rune Staff at this point. I swear to God, if you knocked him out again, I'm gonna be so mad. Zest has been getting all these buffs, and yet he hasn't been able to use them that much. Like robe. Basically, I'm just using Dewu to give haste to everybody else at this point. Magic. Protector. You use the rune staff again. Please stop. I mean, I don't mind the physical attacks. I'd rather you do those, to be honest. I don't know why I said please stop. I'd rather you do those attacks. It's more manageable. If you can call it manageable. Right. I'm going to attack you now. With your turn, I'm going to give you your bloody buff that you've been waiting for. For quite a while. Saber. I'm using yet another protector. I don't know. I need. It's my health right now. We're all pretty high up. Do it. Rune staff. Would you stop, please? I'm getting scared of your hits. And he keeps hitting Sorba. He's been hitting Sorba and Flo. More often than anyone else, and yet that's t second place and third place. First place is supposed to be targeted more often. Right, attack. 
Based on yourself. We are this time going to use a Hilaga. I'm still going to... No. Mm, I don't know. Judgment Staff. Let's go. Let's get some... No. Someone's going to die again. I just got him buffed. Mm. This is stupid. This is dumb. Every time I get back up to a point, Sorba gets picked on. He has attacked no one. He's attacked Zest, what, once or twice? Sorba's been attacked like five times. This is ridiculous. He's been knocked out twice. He's the only one who has been knocked out twice this battle. It's not just me. You can see it for yourself. And it's every time I play with either a ninja or a monk. And I thought it was just bad luck on my part. It just happens. Right. We're doing this. We are doing this. Healing staff. Full life. Room staff. I know... These bosses don't give any experience, they don't give any money. So I can still beat it with Sorba knocked out and it wouldn't matter. But at this point it's the principle. I'm fed up with Sorba getting knocked out just because it's Sorba. It's like in Pokemon Colosseum. They don't target the spot that Umbreon mostly occupies, but they always target the other side of the battle. And yet your Umbreon, who can actually tank hits, isn't taking hits until it's the last Pokemon on the field. It makes no sense to me. Right. We're doing this. There we go. Right. We need to get Zest some health before another flare goes off. Right, Sorba's kind of caught back up again now. We just need the Sabre and the Haste. Right, I'm not playing any games. I'm not playing any games. Healing Staff. Where's the Healing Helm? Lost my healing helm. Where are they? Healing helm. Healaga. And the rune staff. We're just spamming heals. I don't care. I want us back up at full health. Mm -hmm. I'm not having it. We're all getting back up to full health right now. Everyone is healing. I don't care. done okay damage to him and he can't seem to heal himself. Everyone is now back up to full. I'm attacking. You are casting a haste on yourself. I'm trying to think here. I am going to make you do another protector up. I'm going to make you heal everyone again just for a little bit of buffer. STOP ATTACKING SORBA! I swear to god! He's picking on Sorba! Why? He is picking on Sorba! He wants him to be dead! I am not having this! Saber. Fucking Kuriga on Sorba because he's not allowed to live. You, my friend, can have another judgment staff to the face. Okay, he's now doing Thunderbolt all of a sudden. Where was your flare? You used a weaker attack. Why did you do such a thing? Are you softening all of us up for another flare? Because I went for a whole turn of healing? I mean, Zest is doing 1700 damage a turn at this point, but that's all I'm doing every so often. I'm not doing that every turn. 
I'm bumping that up to 20,000 if I follow it up with a flare of my own. Lago. Attack. Let's see how much Daewoo De does with an attack. Please don't do too much damage. Oh, why? Sober is weak again! <laughs> Come on, leave it be. This ain't fair. They're picking on Sorba. I don't like it. Daewoo actually does more physical damage than his flares. This guy must have some decent magic defense. Either that or Daewoo got a crit. Elaga. He's now just spamming spells. Could you not? He must be getting weak. I was really hoping that Sorba would have, like, you know, actually got the finishing strike. That would have been so funny. It's knocked out twice with this guy, and he's just like, No! Blade to the throat! Off ye pop! Didn't happen, though. Right, we're, we're doing another turn of healing. This battle's been ridiculous. We haven't been able to do a lot. We've just been doing nothing but healing and trying to get everyone back up. It starts the bloody battle off with a flare that immediately messes me up. While I'm trying to buff my defences in the first place before anything else. Can I just use the room staff with, um, Zest? That was a bad play. What I meant to do was healing staff. Actually, no. You know what? I don't trust you using the heal on everybody else. You can just use a high potion on yourself. <laughs> That's what it's come down to. In fact, you can just attack normally. I'm going to use the uh, room staff of you. Well, there's the flare. Bye bye, Sorba, once again. Unless Sorba can survive with like a couple of HP. Let's see with damage. It's 500. This is bloody stupid. Oh, we've got way, we've got way, we've got like f two thirds of our health. Let's everybody heal. Does one attack, knocks him out, and he's the only one who falls yet again. I am so sick of this. Get him back up and attack him. Had enough of this bollocks. Twelve hits from Daewoo. There's the... Now Zest is gone. He had all those buffs and now he's gone. I was being quiet there because I was trying to think. Yep, and that's a waste of a potion as well. That's also a waste of a cure All that magic and items down the drain. And then we just got the number of the devil. Yeah, that's a good sign. Look at that. Look at how mug my health now. And one person doesn't have any buff. Two people don't have any buffs. It's stupid. What the hell am I supposed to do now? Phoenix down on you. Hilaga. Hopefully the Phoenix down will go off first. You'd think, considering he's a thief or a ninja, he'll be faster than the white wizard. And he get He's just spamming flare. This is fair. I'm dead. Dead. That is not fair. He just did two flares back to back. It's fair that I can do that because, like, he's got, like, a health span that is way above the triple digits that we can max out with. <laughs> Every time I got someone back up, I was buffing on the first turn, before anything went off. Immediate flare. And because we died, 
we get booted out of the dungeon with nothing left. Sorba's got no magic left as well. He bullied Sorba. He didn't let Sorba do anything. That is 20 minutes down the drain. 20 minutes wasted. This is the final boss all over again. And it was just picking on Sorba. That is not fair. And now I've got to reset the bloody game in order to get back there. Okay, I'm back. Now, looking at my save file, I noticed that we actually went into the battle with Sorba not having a lot of health. But that doesn't excuse the fact that he was picking on Sorba during that battle. So I'm still mad about that. So let's make sure that we're at prime condition this time. For some reason, like that completely passed me by on checking that. So that was my fault, but still, that's not really an excuse if he's going to be picking on the one character all the goddamn time. And yeah, I was spamming items, I don't care. I should really update the save because of that, to be honest. So... Yeah, that was the one I just loaded, so let me save on that one. Because the other half of the footage was fine, except for the last couple of minutes, but I had to split it off anyway. I on which follows Omega. Yeah, and you're going to just do a bloody flare to begin with, so I'm just going to hit Hilaga to start off with, because... I know exactly what you're going to do. So I can't even get a protector up on the first turn. Which is what I like to do, but it's not going to happen. And because I had to close out of the game and then go back in, it's going to take a bloody forever and a half to load. As soon as I say that, the music picks up. Oh wow, that was actually pretty quick. Alright then. Alright, so what we're going to do is a new strategy. We're just going to buff Zest to high heaven and back, and we are going to use this one strength tonic that we have down here. So, because it's it's time to use that stuff. So, we've got the saber. We've got the haste. You're immediately using a hilaga, because I know exactly what this douchebag is going to do. And, I don't know what it's going to do, but I am actually going to throw up a... Red Curtain for Null Blaze, because it does say for the description of Flare, it's light and heat. And heat would transfer to fire, or translate to fire, so that would make sense. So I'm going to do that. And he starts with a... Okay, so I don't have a lot of health, you do your strongest attack. I have all the health, you do one of your weaker attacks. Makes sense to me, I guess. Still, I could hear that up, and we'll be back to max health, but that kind of baffles me. Why would you do such a thing? Yeah, we're back to max health. Look at that. And we've got that going. I might also throw up a, um... No... No, what was it called? No shock. I might do that because he's got that thunderbolt. But then again, he's also got water. So, I could just be doing that all day. So, Zest has now got, um... Haste and Saber. But from what I recall, Saber can stack? I don't think Temper can stack, but I think Saber can stack. So we'll do that, and then Zest is, well, Sorba is going to go and give the Strength Tonic to Zest. You are going to, again, Hilaga, because I don't trust this douche. I said that last time. And this time we're going to get the uh, White Warrior button, slap that on. Yep, I knew it. He's not using flare though, oddly enough. That did a lot. That actually does more damage. Just a little bit less damage than flare. That is just as bad. But Sober, he's already down to 200 HP. And that's not enough. Just using Hilago is not enough. If he does something else, we're going to be in trouble. Need to give him a temper, and then Sorba's pretty much just flat out maxed. Hilaga, and I want a bit of extra assurance on this turn, so I am going to go down here and use a Rune Staff. And he hits my healer! Trying to soften her up, are you? Dick. Take a 30... 30 hundred damage! 3,000 damage, just under. That is what I want to see. Right, so. I'm just going to keep 
slapping up tempers and see if they stack, because I haven't really actually tried that. Alright, so Flo is almost back at the max, but I still don't trust him, so I'm going to heal Arga, and we're going to use a nice turn on Zest, uh, Daewoo, excuse me, here. And we're going to buff him up. Would you stop? <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work. We can try. If it go, if Zest goes above 3,000, that would be nice. Because right now, he's the one who's doing all the damage. Because if I can focus on buffering him up instead of everybody, that might actually be better, because then we can just focus on healing with the rest of the team. So... To be honest, though, I will give uh, Daewoo a haste, because I, I can't stack haste. I definitely know I can't do that. Problem is, I want to stop using Hilaga so Flo could use a Protectora, but it's not going to happen at this point. It'd be nice if I could use an item that gives me Protectora across the board, but that's not a thing either. So, Room Staff. There's the Flare. Sorber is at max health. If it still kills him in one hit. It didn't. He lived. And thank god I actually used the rune stuff on that turn as well. Because I need the extra healing at the moment. Nope, the temper did not increase. In fact, Zest did less damage. So you can't stack temper, but you can stack uh, saber. So I might do another saber and see what happens then. So let's do that. Because you're going to use it on yourself. Sorba's still only got 500 HP, so another bloody thing will actually knock him out. Unless he does a tidal wave, we'll barely live. So what I'm gonna... Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna high potion on him, and make Flo heal everyone anyway. Actually, no, everyone's not... Oh, we're still gonna take damage, bugger it. Yeah, you just attack as well. Ice Storm! That is his weakest attack, it looks like. So I'd rather him just keep spamming that, to be honest. That'd be nice. Zest's got the number of the devil. Okay, it's gone. <laughs> okay. Let's get this off again. So that's now three sabers. Oh, we're all, we're all back to max. I just realised. Ooh. Yep, the one time I don't use bl bloody Hilaga with Flo, he uses a flare. <sighs> Flo's not allowed to do anything but heal. I should just spam healing. Because if he just follows up with another flare, we're just gonna die. Yeah, Flo's not even doing a lot of damage. I don't know why I didn't bother. Okay! 35 hate. 3500 damage. Alright. You know what? I don't give a shit. I'm doing this again. I am going to... No, you know what? I'm not going to get greedy. I'm just going to use more attack and power we have now. Because if Zest does get knocked out, we're going to have a rough time. And if I waste a turn buffing and then lose all the buffs, that's not going to work out well. Sorry. I want to... No, I want a high potion on Sorba. You're going to... Hilaga, you're going to use the rune staff. There's the tidal wave. Sorba's gone. Yet again. Not surprised at this point. I'm just used to Sorba being dead weight, literally. The only, good, the only thing he's good for is casting temper and haste. And just being there as cannon fodder for enemies to chew on. That sounds horrible, I know, but there we go. So, room staff. Oh, you actually did a physical attack on Zest. I am surprised. Please die. I would love it if you would die at, d at some point. Oh, I've got to be careful what he does next. Defend. <laughs> In case of he hits, because I can't risk it. Oh, boy. Okay. Um. <laughs> I'm going to use an X potion on Zest. 
I'm still going to use Hilaga. I'm still going to use <laughs> the Rune Staff. Oh, thank God. <laughs> the X Potion was not wasted. Whew! Alright, well, the Hilaga can go to everyone else. And by everyone else, I mean Flo. And Flo's still not at max, so this is still technically not wasted. Alright, and Flo's almost back to max. Okay, so we got out of that rabbit hole. I want to slow. <laughs> I really want to slow him down if possible. Don't know if it's going to work, but I can try. Let's get at least one protector off. At least let's try do that. I will still use... The rune staff, however. Okay, he's using a Thunderbolt. That's not bad. We can take that. Oh, that was almost 4,000 damage! Yeah, it didn't work. It's worth a shot. Heal everybody back up. There we go. Okay. Hit. Uh. Boom. Keep forgetting, I could just equip the dual rapier on. I might end up giving the dual rapier to S Sorber because if he's just going to keep on dying, I can't even buff him up to use his decent attack power. So I could keep him around longer to buff everyone else up. That might be a better plan at some point. In fact, I could just equip it right now. You know what? I'm going to do that. Let's equip that right now. It's a. Uh... Kigajum oh shit, I can't do it that way. I have to go equip. Swap the Kigajumanji for the Jewel Rapier. Oh, it doesn't actually use a turn! Alright then. That's helpful. Okay. Uh, I'm glad I did that. So I don't waste a turn swapping my equipment. I can still do something. Let's White Robe. Because he kind of needs the, Invis the Invisera and I'm not wasting um, Float or Zest's turn just giving it to him. Uh, actually, you can just attack. Tidal Wave, we will survive that. God, we've gone on for 20 minutes. 12 minutes, excuse me. This dude should be dead by now, come on. That's like 5... That's 50,000 damage you just took right there, buddy. Come on. 50,000? 5,000, you know what I mean. I stir my speech. Oh, I didn't think this guy was actually going to take the whole bloody episode. Uh, I don't know what I want to do. Those evasion of all foes. Tempo just doesn't do a lot. Don't know what I want to do with your turn, to be perfectly honest with you. You use the room staff. Since I want you to use Hilaga. I want you to attack. Oh, and then we go with the flare again. Sorber is gone yet again. Come on, you've got evasion with a boost of the frick. No. And then we win. No, oh, okay. We didn't win that time. Okay. <laughs> I was expecting for Sorba just to be knocked out yet again and just fall flat on his face, but nope. That flare, Sorba just can't live a flare. It's it's an impossibility. He can live one flare if he's at max health. If he ain't, he's not living. Wow, why did you use your weakest attack now? Just rubbing it in Sorba's face. And once again, he's the only one who's dead. And now we bloody flipping win. I don't believe it. My strategy worked, but Sorba once again got knocked out, like, three times that battle. Got a Ragnarok. Not happy about it. Hero Shield as well. Right, let's have a look at what this is. Right, before we... Ah! Back up. Luckily, for bloody hell's sake, magic, thank you. Mmm, buttons. I'm frustrated. That was ridiculous. 
Eh, whatever. Right, what is these weapons? Ragnarok, it's a sword. A sword etched with words of the gods. Doesn't have any usable effect. What about the hero shield? Shield that wards off status ailments. Isn't that the same description for ribbons? Wards off special attacks. Oh, okay, so I can actually swap the ribbon for something. Oh my god, the evasion. Did you see the evasion of that shield? Let's go back down here. Knight and Ninja, only they can use it. Well, I think I know who I'm going to give that to at this point. What about the Ragnarok? Who can equip that? Only the Knight. Is that actually better than the Excalibur? Wow, oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? Look at that boost to the evasion. The accuracy and the attack power. You know, it's kind of funny considering that we're in the exact same dungeon that Gilgamesh was searching for Excalibur, and yet he found Excalibur, and it was supposed to be like a legendary blade. We just got a blade that already rivals that 15 floors later. Funnily enough, that would have actually been helpful in the previous battle, but there we go. Uh, yeah, that, well, considering that Ragnarok, only knights can equip the Ragnarok, that is going to be an equipment. Does that mean no one can equip the Excalibur now? Literally no one can equip it. Yeah, only the knight can equip it, so the Excalibur is actually useless now. It's completely useless now. Interesting. Um, alright. So, let's have a look at shields here. I mean, same defense as the Aegis shield, but it's just more... It's just a plus 40 on evasion. So, that's a thing. Uh, well, I think I'm going to give it to Sorber because he kind of needs the defense and he kind of needs the evasion. And I don't care if he's got the dual rapier. He's sticking with it at this point. Kika Jumanji is nice, but look how much evasion I lose. Compared to... Actually, he actually has more evasion than Zest, but... Yeah, he's actually got decent defense now. He's like 59. His attack's not the best. I mean, Flo's got 110, but remember, that's ultimate weapon doing its job where the effects... But considering that he's now got the hero shield, he doesn't need the ribbon, so he can actually equip something else that's a lot better. Because shield that wards off special ailments, ribbon that wards off special Oh, special attacks and status ailments. Oh. So I was going to give him the Jendi Helm. But it is more defense, and it's also more evasion. Do I want to do that? I mean, he'll actually be on par with Zest defense. So he'll actually be tanking hit. And he's got way more evasion, so he won't get hit by hardly any magic at all, hopefully. He'll have the most evasion of anybody. You know what? I'm actually going to attempt that. I'm going to equip him with the Jendi Helm. <sighs> now we can... Now we can leave. I mean... Yay. <laughs> i got to go through the whole dungeon again. Well, I'm going to say this. This episode's already long enough as it is with just that one battle, and that first round was a load of bullshit, even though... Zest wasn't at full health, that was technically my fault, but the amount of times he got knocked out during that battle, as well as being picked on, literally by getting hit by physical attacks, was a little bit unfair. So, in the next episode, guys, we are going to go back to that very floor that we were on, and fight the other enemy, which I believe is Omega Weapon.